E and E here. Phyrexia all will be one has a particular returning mechanic that goes hand in hand with counters, especially poison counters. Proliferate. Proliferate is a keyword action introduced back in Scars of Mirrodin. When a player proliferates, they choose any number of players and or permanents with counters on them. Then put another of each kind of counter already there on those players or permanents. But how do you play proliferate? Let's build our battlefield. Let's put two creatures on my side, Gix and a Flesh Gorger. Gix have a plus one, plus one counter, and the Flesh Gorger has a minus one, minus one counter. Then we're going to put also Liliana of the Veil with five loyalty counters, and the Cruelty of Gix and Enchantment Saga with one lore counter. And we're going to put some permanents on my opponent's side. At a fairy with four loyalty counters, Guardian of New Benalia with a shield counter and a stun counter, Surge Engine with a minus one, minus one counter, and Serra Paragon with a plus one, plus one counter. And to make things more interesting, my opponent has two poison counters. Now I'm going to cast Experimental Augury, one and one blue. Look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order and proliferate. It's a normal instant spell, goes on the stack, there can be a counter, there can be a response, nothing happens and it will resolve. When it resolves, I will look at the top three cards of my library. I will put one of them in my hand and the rest in the bottom of my library in any order and I will proliferate. As described, proliferate will let me choose any opponent or opponents that have at least a counter or permanents that have at least a counter. Any permanent, even my opponents, but it's always my choice and I will add one of each kind of counter already there. Therefore, I'm going to choose my gigs and give it an extra plus one plus one counter. I'm not going to choose my Flesh Gorger, I don't want to give an extra minus one, minus one counter. Enchantment Saga are tricky. Choosing an Enchantment Saga with Proliferate, it means that you're going to skip chapters. In my case, I don't want to skip a chapter and therefore I'm not going to choose it. And I'm going to choose my Liliana, so my Liliana will get an extra loyalty counter. Now it's six and I can go with her ultimate. But we know that Proliferate let you choose players, opponents and permanents and opponent controls. Therefore, I'm going to choose my opponent and they will get an extra poison counter. They are a three. I'm not going to choose their Teferi, no extra loyalty counter. I'm not going to choose either Serra Paragon, no extra plus one plus one counter, but I'm going to choose Search Engine and Search Engine will get an extra minus one minus one counter. Guardian of New Benalia, it's tricky. They have a shield counter, they have a stun counter. If I choose Guardian of New Benalia, they will get both an extra shield counter and an extra stun counter. Shields are dangerous, so I'm not going to choose Guardian of New Benalia. And if you proliferate again, we'll just repeat the process. Some notes. To proliferate means to choose any number of permanents and or players that have a counter, then give each one additional counter of each kind that permanent or player already has. You can choose any player that has a counter, including yourself. You can choose any permanent that has a counter, including ones controlled by your opponents. You can choose cards in any zone other than the battlefield, even if they have counters on them such as suspend cards or a lightning storm on the stack. You don't have to choose every permanent or player that has a counter, only the ones you want to add another counter to. Since any number includes zero, you don't have to choose any permanents at all, and you don't have to choose any players at all. If a permanent chosen this way has multiple kinds of counters on it, a new counter for each kind is put on that permanent. Players can respond to the spell or ability whose effect includes proliferating. 
once the spell or ability starts to resolve. However, and its controller chooses which permanents and players will get new counters, it's too late for anyone to respond. Proliferate does not target, so permanents with shroud or hexproof can be chosen. When you proliferate in two-headed giant game, you may give one poison counter to a team that already has one. So this is how you play proliferate. Leave me in the comments below what do you think about this returning mechanic. I think with poison counters it's quite deadly. And as always, subscribe buttons here. Subscribe for my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible with.